Hey everyone, Kita Sean here. So welcome back to another episode of Kita News where we talk about everything otaku. So super happy that I brought the series back, but at the same time, super disappointed that I brought the series back with some terrible news, some disturbing news. Um, if you're not comfortable with sexual abuse, I highly recommend you guys click away because this is what this uh, news is about. It's about someone that um, is very famous in Japan, in the anime world, in the voice actor world. Uh, it's also something that I don't really want to talk about because this is actually someone that um, I look up to. Um, I am a huge fan of. And um, yeah, I just... It hurts to talk about this as a fan of this person. So, um, again, if you're not comfortable with the topic of sexual abuse, again, click away. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and talk about it here. So, uh, legendary voice actor, Hudia Toru, uh, very known for voice acting uh, legendary roles as Amuro Ray from the Gundam series. Uh, he was also uh, re reborn from Gundam Double O. Uh, he also plays uh, Tuxedo Mask from Sailor Moon, OG Sailor Moon. Uh, he's also voiced Furia Day from Detective Conan, a character that literally has his name um, from, you know, Gundam, Amuro Ray, and Furia Toru. So, like, Conan basically created a character just for him. Uh, but anyways, putting all that aside, uh, Furio Toru, um, he is currently 70 right now, but uh, this man was in a affair with a woman who is a fan of his for four and a half years. Now you guys might think, oh, you know, it's fine. They're fans. Uh, they like each other. But again, it's an affair. Uh, he is married. So uh, for him to have an affair is obviously a you know, a scandal. Um, this woman uh, currently is 37. So he was having an affair with this woman since she was 32, 33. He was, I, I believe, 66 uh, or 63, um, you know, math, whatever. But they were having an affair for four years. But um, the big stuff comes after. Uh, basically, it's been reported that not only the affair, but he was abusing this woman. He got her pregnant. And he also forced an abortion on this woman as well. Now, I don't know if the abortion part went through or not. But uh, that is what's been reported. He basically sexually abused her. Uh, again, got her pregnant and is trying to force an abortion or, or forced the abortion on her. So um, some pretty intense stuff there. Um, again, this is someone that I really looked up to. And I don't think anyone would have thought like a, a man in their 70s, you know, would do. But um, yeah, this is a pretty high profile person, again, in the voice actor world. I mean, he's been on a lot of TV shows in Japan just because of him being Amuro Ray, the voice actor for Amuro Ray. And um, again, it, it's just crazy to hear someone like him to do this. Uh, I mean, yeah, there are a lot of memes already of, you know, bright Noah slapping Amuro. I mean, if you've watched the OG Gundam, then you know what I'm talking about. But uh, a lot of memes are already going on the internet right now. And um, literally after this news got uh, revealed on my uh, Yahoo News, uh, Bunshun, Orion, uh, magazine articles, he did release a apology on Twitter which we see right here. So, um, yeah, he, he apologized. He admits everything. Um, now the question is what's going to happen from here on. Uh, a lot of fans, in including myself, we are expecting him to just retire from voice acting or not really state he's retiring, but state that he's just not going to be doing any voice acting. I do believe that he's going to be fired from a lot of his current roles. Uh, I mean, he's not really playing a lot of roles as of right now but i think his most famous role right now is sabo from one piece uh i think for sure he's gonna be uh replaced for, um in one piece uh I, I i can't remember exactly what other voice acting roles he's currently doing right now but uh, sabo is a pretty big one because i know sabo has a huge fan base uh but yeah this is again pretty intense to hear um 
I, I thought it was fake at first. I really, really did. But after researching, uh, again, it was on Yahoo News, Oricon. Um, it's all over the internet. And then not only this, he posted an apology. It's it's true, and it, it sucks to hear. Uh, it really does. Again, this is the this is someone that I really looked up to. Um, I've met him. I've met him in person once, and he was a really cool dude. I, I got his signature and everything. Um, but yeah, it, it just. <sighs> So, so what Fudio Toto did again is terrible. Uh, as a fan, I'm at the stage where I'm like confused. Um, I know I should be angry, but it, it's just r- really hard to express my feelings right now because again, I'm a, I was a huge fan of this man. I looked up to him, and um, for him to actually do do something disturbing is it, it, it's harsh, man. Like. I, I hope the woman is okay. I hope she's not. Uh, in, um, I, I hope she gets the help that she needs and um, hopefully uh, recovers. But I again, I wouldn't be surprised if Furia Toru doesn't come back to the world of voice acting. I mean, it, it wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I just w- wanted to throw that out there. Um, as a, again, as a Gundam fan, as a Furia Toru fan, uh, very devastating news. That's basically going to be about it. If you guys want the latest otaku news, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the uh, next episode. Laters.